A sad reminder tonight of just how dangerous working in Canada's Arctic can be. A Canadian Coast Guard helicopter has crashed in the Arctic Ocean, killing the three crew members on board. They were working off the icebreaker at the Amundsen, doing research on sea ice. Our Ottawa correspondent Mike LeCouture has more on this for us. Mike? Donna, while the last Coast Guard crash was back in 2005, officials say the sad reality is the history of Arctic exploration is punctuated with these types of tragedies. The downed Coast Guard helicopter is similar to this one. On board, pilot Daniel Dubé, University of Manitoba researcher Klaus Hockheim, and the commander of the Coast Guard ship the chopper was flying from, Marc Thibault. Officials say despite near-perfect flying conditions, the routine flight to check the Arctic ice suddenly went wrong. And there was no distress call. We have a flight following system that we, we call it on the helicopter, which sends us signals on a regular basis. And once that signals was, was signal was not received anymore, the uh, ship made way directly toward the last known position. The chopper was finally found in the McClure Strait, about 600 kilometers from Resolute Nunavut. Despite wearing survival suits, all three were pronounced dead when they were brought on board the ship. Hockheim was a University of Manitoba climatologist studying the effects of climate change on Arctic ice. Colleagues in Winnipeg are devastated by his loss. There is always, you know, an inherent danger um, because of the remoteness of the Arctic, but we generally don't think about it. The Prime Minister offered his condolences for all three victims, saying it's a grim reminder of the very real dangers faced by those who conduct research in the Arctic. Now, it is a dangerous job, but this Arctic explorer says it's an important one. The work that they're doing, um, supporting either vessel traffic, supporting science, helping us better understand the Arctic, the Arctic environment, uh, things like climate change. The Coast Guard can't say what the cause of the crash might have been, but it is worth noting these choppers are more than 20 years old. The investigation is now in the hands of the Transportation Safety Board. Donna. Tragic story. Mike Lucatour in Ottawa. Thank you.